The Reformation was carried to Scotland probably in the first place in the form of books. Uh, John Knox said it was merchants and mariners who first brought uh, the Reformation to Scotland. And then it began to come through preachers. Um, and uh, those preachers began rather courageously to proclaim the gospel in the face of determined uh, government opposition. And uh, um, many of those early leaders uh, were martyred. And uh, it was in that context then that John Knox, the most famous of the leaders of the Scottish Reformation, came to faith. He had worked closely with George Wissart, uh, one of the early preachers who was martyred in 1546 and um, led to a, a real uprising in Scotland against the, murderer, the murderers, as they thought it was, of George Wissart. Um, uh, and because things were wild and woolly in Scotland, um, those early Protestants attacked the cardinal, who was also one of the leading government officials in Scotland, Cardinal Beaton, and murdered him and took his castle. And John Knox was called as his first pastoral charge to be the chaplain to these soldiers that had murdered Beaton and uh, held the castle. So this is a kind of wild beginning. And uh, in that early uh, charge, he preached from the book of Daniel, and he struck two themes that were basic to all of his preaching and all of his ministry. First was that we are justified by faith alone, and the second was that we must flee idolatry. Those were the passions of Knox's heart that we really understand the gospel and the peace that it brought us in God and that we avoid the idolatry as he saw it of the Roman Catholic Church. 